Hello again. Um, I'm going to go through today this question on uh, the Birmingham Library, but specifically I'm going to try and show you how you can do something called interleaving. And that's going to be the focus of your your task today um, and your task over the next two weeks, which we will have a chance to see how we can link in other topics uh, through a topic that we're focusing on in an examination question because it's something that examiners you know they're looking for this when when they read an answer and um, it's something that they will be looking to see okay like in a magnifying glass right so if you take a look at this question which is discuss how one initiative that you've studied in an AC and that's the UK um, in a city in an AC, that's our example here, Birmingham, will help to make the city more sustainable. We've got a bugger question. So we're going to box the command word discuss. We're going to not be um, evaluating um, to an, uh, exactly, but we're going to be discussing and explaining how it, the city will become more sustainable. So we're going to underline those words. Um, and of course, the city specifically in the country that we need to look at is Birmingham. And the fact that we are only supposed to be looking at one initiative. If you discuss a mixture of initiatives, and by that I mean if you write like one paragraph about the bullring and then you come down and you say another initiative is, um, that is something that you cannot do in this answer. However, we're going to discuss how you can very brilliantly link in or chain up some of the information about the bull ring, some of the information about the HS2, um, information about energy savers and various other um, aspects of the uh, of the course that we've looked at. Um, that is something that we can do as long as we kind of name drop that information in there. Okay, so first of all, uh, we need to have kind of a, a focus on some of the things that we can talk about. And of course, we're looking at sustainability. So social, economic, and environmental sustainability will be, will be really important in this answer and we want to see a mixture of this discussed in the answer. One of the things that I've noticed with some of these answers in the past um, is that they tend to focus on environmental because there's so much to talk about with the with the Library of Birmingham. They, all, they often go in on tangents and talk about the rooftop garden. They talk about the fact that it was built on a brownfield site all very very useful information in 2013 just getting some of our facts and figures down the fact that it improves biodiversity through the rooftop garden the fact that it reduces co2 from cars um, by encouraging people to go to work by bike so bikes are often lumped in under environmental um, but these are all a lot of these things we can actually bring over to the social aspect of the question or the economic aspect of the question Okay, so for example, we're making good economic use of the land that it was once built on. It used to be a multi-story car park. And the thing about the multi-story car park was, well, it did what it needed to do. However, it's now being converted into a, a place where not only can you go to, um, you know, uh, study, buy or rent books. However, it also brings in a lot of sponsorship, brings in a huge amount of tourists to the economy. It brings in people that go to the cafe, cafe employs people. Um, so there's a huge amount of employment as a result of this as well. A lot of, a lot of areas for you to focus on just by thinking about the concept of it once being Built on a a brown uh, being built on a brown site a field site, but but replacing a multi-story car park, um, and then the social benefits. So, for example, thinking about bikes reducing CO two because there's less traffic is brilliant. But because there's less traffic, people are going to feel more mentally well. So mental capacity goes up, mental productivity. People are more productive. They feel better. Um, using bikes is going to get them more exercise and as a result of that it's going to improve their health so there is a wealth of 
information for you to focus on not just so not just environmental but also economic and social you can see here i have a longer list here um in terms of breaking down my social and my economic than i actually do with my environmental although i could go on here right so that's just a little bit of background about the um the bull the, the library itself now we're going to have a look at how we can link in stuff about the bull ring so how does the bull ring feed into the library well, the bullring, we know, has this very modern design, and it's influenced the library. Okay? But another thing we can then say is because this influence has come from the bullring onto the library, the library will have a similar influence on other buildings. So, for example, if we're deciding that we want to make a museum, will we make a, make a very, you know, typical museum that looks like uh, um, it came from the Industrial Revolution era or the Victorian era? Or will we make it look like this, you know, crazy modern design made by some artist who thought, I'm going to just play around with metal and shapes, um, and, and then end up with something that is not only environmentally friendly, looks good for the for the people who pass through it in the street brings in tourists um, and as a result this this influence of the bull ring is which was built in you know which was renovated in the early 2000s is eventually going to have an influence on the library and is eventually going to have an influence on other places like museums public buildings maybe a government buildings And that's how the actual bullring, and sorry, that's how we can bring the bullring in, but that's how the library can be considered as sustainable. Okay? It will help the city to be more sustainable in the future. And that's, the, that's what the question has asked us to do, so we need to focus on it in that way. Okay? Um, anything else that we can bring in? So, for example, the, um, we can bring in the concept of the two-in-one energy facility. And the two-in-one energy facility is linked to the library. This is linked to the library because it gives the energy to it for heating and some electricity. Okay, So some heat and electricity comes from this building. And as a result... We're reducing on things like the amount of building space that needs to be taken up to have an energy facility because we've got two in the same place. Um, it provides energy in a more clean way and it will influence the local area. Okay, because there's going to be less buildings surrounding it. So by buying into this, uh, by the library buying into this two-in-one en energy facility, it is actually contributing to improving the local area. Okay, um, now I'm just going to go through a, a appeal paragraph with you in your later on today when we look at this answer in the bull, uh, in the cluster. Um, and if you have any questions for me on this, uh, you can let me know. Okay.